YouTube, my channel. videos mute all right we're good there hey <laughs> what's up I'm about to go live on um, on YouTube so so I think I'm gonna post a story actually I don't know if I can post a story when I'm already on this I wonder if I can like send the address I don't know I don't even know how I would do that hmm But I'm going to go live on YouTube, so just check out my, um, you can check out the link in my, in my profile, and then go to my YouTube, because I'm going to be doing some drawing. And I'm going to draw this guy, this rascal. Taking a test. Oh, one day. Yeah, no, one day. That's true, I could put it in my bio, but um, it's gonna be a qu it's gonna be a quick live, but I think I have to end I think I have to end this live so I can go live on YouTube. Even though I'm even though I'm already I'm already live on YouTube really at the moment. But Mohadish Jandan Ale Panda Bear, I like it. Keeping up with Khan, cool. I'm gonna try to keep this one quick because I have some actual like paid, actually I should, I should look at you guys. I have some actual paid uh, um, artwork to do, so I'll keep this one fairly quick. I have some chocolate, so don't look at my, my blemish. I am in a very little place. Yes, I am, I'm in my little I'm in my little office. Usually it's like, this is like the, this is usually the frame when I make my videos. I can't show my legs because I don't have, I don't have pants on, but uh, Madeline Lou, thank you. Thank you so much. Got it. I have to get, I have to get some bread, right? And, and I set up my little office underneath my, underneath my bed, underneath my, my little loft bed because I'm all about I'm all about space efficiency. So, all right. So pop over to my YouTube. I'm gonna send a. I'm gonna make a. Uh, oh yeah, no. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to see my legs. That's bad. So it's not a good look. Um, but yeah, pop over to my pop over to my YouTube, and I'd appreciate some. Uh, you know, some folks saying hi over there if you can. If you can, you know, if you can, if you can make the jump. I'm gonna post it in a. Uh, in a story too so I'll see you guys in a little bit look out for the story you should be able to just swipe up and then go right to the YouTube all right peace I gotta figure out how to end it okay Alright, I'm about to start this bad boy up. Jello, what up? I'm about to start. Sorry, I'm uh oh, I think I have one minute. One minute to post post a oh no, did I post this to my I didn't mean to post this to my freaking grid. No I didn't. Okay, good. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to go to YouTube and I have to my channel and then I have to share copy link and I have to go to Instagram go here switch this 
take a photo and then put the link in Web. Oh, this is so much work this is seriously like way too much work Swipe up to view. Swipe up. I just need to swipe up. Okay, cool. My story. All right, it's 1201. Sorry I'm late. Is this stupid thing really on my profile? No, it's not. Okay. <clears throat> Let me turn this light off. All right, so I'm not on video anymore. Take my. Oh no, but I probably can't because I have the mic connected to my shirt. Oh well. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where. My nephew's friend got this photo of a cat. Actually, I think someone stretched his arms out. <laughs> I just noticed that. But uh, my, my nephew's friend sent me this cat and wanted me to do a sketch of it. So I'm going to do a quick one because I have some, some work to do later. Okay, so, so he's got a very, like, an interesting shaped head. Got kind of a diamond shape. Let me make this a little smaller so I can have fun with it. Oh no! Come on! Don't don't freeze up on me. There we go. Maybe I do need to get a new iPad. iPad. Because sometimes this thing just freezes up on me. It's really annoying. All right. So got the center line. These big ears. He's got this and that. Like that, and he's got another big, huge ears. Let make them a little bigger, They're actually rounded. Rounded on here. And there's actually, yeah, I think I can deal with this. Let me erase some of this in here. Okay, so I got you want to get that head shape right. Alright, and his nose is pretty pretty long actually. Probably make this a little bigger. I use I use the tools like that a lot to like make my life easier. You know, just like stretch and pull things. Okay. Like for example, this these ears are not um the ears are not even, so I'll just go like this to really make them even. I'll change the center line. Okay. And I'll also use liquify to sort of, you know, kind of change out any proportions that I think need, need changing. All right, that looks all right. So, get the eyes going right here. That, bridge of the nose. Show where the forehead is. 
Very interesting looking eyes. This is such a such an interesting looking cat. Yeah, it's kind of like a for cats. I always do a heart for the nose to start out because it's pretty. It's pretty simple. It's a simple shape, but it's easy to build on. And then if I really need to, if I really want to make it cat nose, I just do those little. I just do a heart, and then you can just do. this little thing and you pretty much have their nose so that makes it a lot easier I feel like I want to make them like this his mouth open but I'll draw I'll draw this first And I can see that this is already way too low. So I'm just gonna bring that up a bit. Yeah, that looks that looks better. These are very wide. make this smaller so we'll make this smaller and his nose looks like it should be bigger and clean this up a little bit I feel like I want to give him a fun, I'll give him like a, whoops, I'll use Sketch Master, see if I can give him like a, my little chin let's see if I do that facial expression let me try it again Delfina what's up how you living all right so if I was doing a normal one I probably do Something like this is normal. So so if I was doing a worried face, I can hear the cats outside. Chin is so big. Oh, that's better. Give him a little smaller chin. And these big, <coughs> these big alien ears. I love them. Let 
me see if I'll, how I have the if I have the shape of his face right. His face looks a little wider, so I'm just going to widen out these ears a little bit so I can make his face a little wider. So I can really get that. That diamond shape. Right, let me clean this up so I don't accidentally draw these lines. And actually his eyes look a little higher, I think. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, since his eyes are a bit higher. And his nose is a bit, a bit like a, like a lion almost. I think his nose needs to be lower down. Because it's like low and then it's like something like that. See if I now now that I made the mouth lower, or I made the nose lower. Let me make this lower. weird. Um, you know what? He doesn't have enough forehead. He doesn't have enough forehead, number one. And I also have to bring this up. So I have to bring this up. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Then he also needs more head. I think that's another that's another problem. So let me see if I can just stretch his head. Oops. Let's see if I can give him a little bit more forehead. Okay, not bad, a little weird, but I guess he's a, he is a very interesting looking cat to begin with. Let me see how he looks if I erase some of these, some of these lines I don't need. I give him some nice eye sockets or eye 
Yeah, whatever they are. Looks a little better. Let me make sure I try to match where his eyes are. Okay, that's not bad. So let me see if I can let me see if I can give him some love here. Hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? So I really don't have this. I really don't have my mic in a very good position. I'll just lay my mic down here. Even though I'm just talking nonsense anyway, but hopefully you can hear me. Okay. All right. Let me just check the proportions real quick. It looks like. It looks like this can be tilted a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's see what we can what we can do. So, so I'm gonna make. Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to start with the eyes, but that's okay. I'll start with the nose. So I'm gonna do my. Little squashed heart nose that we'll color in. And I can even there we go. Those little teefies. And I'll color in the inside. I actually should have drawn the whole the whole body. I don't know why I just like did his 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 head. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. No, I'm on the right layer. Wrong brush. Okay, so that looks okay. And it looks like he has a round head on the top. So we'll give him a nice round head. Give him some huge ears. And sometimes I just have to really a little bit extra you know even though I have the sketch there sometimes I don't always feel like I have to match it perfectly okay so he has He doesn't have much hair in there, so we'll just do a little bit of a little something something. Okay, 
Okay, so now we'll give him some kind of like shocked eyes. Which were always fun. He actually does have a little thing on it on the side of his uh on the side of his eye, which is cool. So we'll give him. Uh, I'm like, won't, won't make him that high. He doesn't really have those, but I think they look really cool. So he's getting them. So now for his paint job. Looks like his. His ears, his ears are like a dark, have some color to them, so I'll just put some color like this. And he sort of has light, lighter eyes, so we'll go with, oh, that's way too big. Well, his eyes, are, his eyes are fairly big, actually, so... You know what, let's just draw them in. So he has really big eyes. Ooh, I think I have to move that eye over a bit. to make sure that I match the space around the, the eyeball or else it'll look really weird. So give him some lines underneath his eyes. Color these guys in a little bit. Maybe I'll do actual like cat shapes, cat shaped eyes. No, those look freaky. Cats have such freaky eyes. How's that? Is that freaky? Maybe I should just do my regular standard eye. Yeah, I'll give him a regular standard eye. Gwen wants to doodle. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. I um I'm glad that you're here on um on YouTube to check out my, my live streams. I'm trying to do them a lot more because sometimes I just get really busy and it's hard to like do the produced videos, so it's nice to sometimes just be able to come here and sketch and doodle. And you know, just kind of like chat with folks that are uh, that are here. It's kind of like, you know, it's a learning curve, but um, I don't know. It's kind of nice. I don't feel as I don't know. I mean, I do feel pressure when I'm like drawing live because like you just don't want it to look look bad. But you know, everything I draw looks bad all the time like it looks bad until it do until it doesn't so I'm kind of getting used to that the whole like oh it's gonna look bad but you just gotta keep working at it so I'll give him some shadows I'll give him some whites down here maybe he needs two yeah I'll give him two two jelly beans I'll give him 
comes out somewhere. Give him some white like that. Oh, I can actually zoom in. I don't know why I'm so zoomed out so much. Sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I there's a couple things that really bug me about Procreate 5, though, I must say. Um, they're not major things, but there's a couple things that that uh, that sort of annoy me. I guess I'll get used to it, but um, one of them is I feel like the eye is a little wonky. Hopefully that's alright. Yeah, there's just a couple things. I'm actually going to make a um, I'm actually going to make a little video about Procreate 5 and just Procreate in general. There's a couple things that really, really bug me. What am I doing? Why is that? All right. There's a couple things that really bug me, um, but I don't know if it's just because I have an older iPad or I don't know. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate this. I'm gonna merge these two. I'm gonna put that away. And now I'm going to go back to this layer. You know what? I'm gonna select them both. I'm gonna make them both smaller. Sorry, I know I'm working really small. I do that sometimes. I'm not that great with cat bodies, so essentially, so he's like a long, he's pretty long. I feel like someone edited this photo too, so it's not, not really like, I feel like it's not really that indicative of an actual cat's body. So he'd be like this, his arms would be, I usually match these big shapes. So it looks like he has his neck area here, but then he has this big, try to match this neck area too, quick, quick shapes, quick shapes are always best, this comes out a little bit, and he has really long, Really long arms to where someone edited the photo. But that's okay, because that actually makes it a bit fun. So I'm going to make the whole thing smaller again. Because I need to have enough room to really, really get those paws in. Okay, so this is the part I'm not good at it at all. I'm really not good at Okay, that's not bad. When I get con when I get quiet, I have to concentrate on what the heck I'm doing. What is shaking? Is that this can? Oh, yeah, let me get this can out of here. Okay, the one the one arm looks good. This arm this arm needs some work. I don't even know what layer I was just drawing on. Oh well. Oh, no worries. No worries, Azaria. I appreciate you stopping by. Oops, I'm on the eraser. I want to get out of the eraser. Alright, let's get some of these cat claws. And that 
one's a little bit wonky, but I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this. Let me see if I can just cheat this up. Because it doesn't look too bad. Looks fairly close to what I'm looking for. Still an eraser. What did I just do? What am I doing? Actually, that paw is pretty flat, so I'm just going to draw it again. So this paw is pretty flat. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I mean, there is pressure, but like, I think for me, I just wanted to, I wanted to get over that pressure. Um, what is one of the, one of the main reasons why I started doing it more, is because, like, there is there is some pressure, but you just get used to it. I mean, oh, what am I doing? What's going on? Let me merge all these. Let me merge these layers so I can actually manipulate stuff without having to go back yeah it's like that's one of the things that's one of the reasons why um you know this is one of the challenges like i knew that it would you know kind of it would be add a little bit of pressure but but once you get used to it it's kind of nice Okay, I think these are these are okay. They're a little long, but I guess that's part of the this body. And then there's long toes here. We'll pretend his other leg is here, even though it's not really in the photo. Make it a little smaller. Actually, we'll just make him on a. We'll make him on like a little pedestal or something. And make his feet smaller. We'll just make it on a straight pedestal, something like that. That looks weird. We'll just not make him on anything. I think I'm just having hard. Yeah, no, I'm hard. I'm hard on myself as well. But the thing is, like, when people are watching you, like, for the most part, they're all going to be pretty, like, positive. And, like, for me, um, even, like, suggestions can, like, go a long way, too. Um, sometimes if I just get stuck, I just, you know, just be like, how can I, how can I fix this? Because sometimes it's just nice to get another another perspective okay I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm like sh like this is like my perfectionist nature again whoops make me redo these dang arms that somebody stretched out Okay, let me just, let me do some, throw some line work on this because I got some work to do later, tonight. Unless I just, actually I might not even do it, I might edit a video. Oh, 
Oh yeah, overthink everything. Definitely. Um, yeah, so let me just do some line work over this guy. I'll try to do it quick. So we'll do that. Actually, let me do it this way. The paw should always be. There's certain there's certain ways that I naturally want to draw paws, and they just look terrible. So I have to remember to kind of draw them the right way. I'm trying to do really fast, really fast strokes. That sounds weird. Con. So you finally made it. How how was the test? I think you said you had a you had a test. I believe. Con's got big paws. Wait, why does that? Oh, that looks weird. Let me go. Go. I don't. Do you, I always make that noise. I don't know why I make that noise. Sometimes when I do lines, I have to go. I don't know if it's just a live thing or what. It's weird. I don't recall or remember making that noise before, but I don't know. It just feels right. That. Oh, that's not bad. Really? I feel like... No, I feel like someone stretched these arms. Is this really his... Are those really his paw... Are they really that long? I feel like someone stretched it. I don't know, because I feel like, no, I guess the body doesn't look too, too worked out, but I can't see, I'm trying to look at the hair, and like, usually I feel like I can see because like, you know, I've worked a lot in Photoshop and stuff, maybe, maybe it really is, I don't know, it just feels a little, feels a little stretched, I don't know why, and it's so black here, it, the background is so black there. I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the case. This guy definitely is tall and lanky. That's for sure. Um, let me just... Uh, that's when you know. That's when I know that I've messed up. When I find myself going, let me just... Uh, whenever I start going, let me just... Uh, then that's when I... when I go off the rails but I really have to make make that face like clean like I don't want it to be too that's where all the detail is I mean that's where like the expression is so like I just want to clean that up a little bit All right, let me just do his little, uh, his little spots here. So he has, he's got some interesting color, colorations. He's got some spots going. We'll pretend that his other leg is dark too. Make some smaller. Really 
give them some spots there. This cat is from an Instagram one I follow. My name is Joycist. <laughs> What's up? Yoda. <laughs> yes. It's a terrible Yoda voice, but it happened. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking, I'm reading the things now. They cut us from an Instagram account that I follow. I don't know. It might be. It doesn't look familiar, but it could be. Um, I wish I remembered the account. Actually, let me see who, let me see who, um, who sent it to me. Uh, my inbox is crowded. I think they sent it to me on Insta on on Instagram on this account. I don't know. I have like four Instagram accounts, so. Uh, this is super boring, right? Where did he send me that photo? Nope. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't remember what. I don't remember what his. What his um. Like photo, his uh, Instagram thing was. So it's gonna be hard for me to find it. So I'm gonna give up. I wish I could like just search by like who sent me media. Yeah, no, the D. <laughs> no, the DMs go deep. They go real deep. They go real deep. Oh, that's, that was general. This is my primary. Primary primary is crazy. Primary keeps going. But Oh, and there's also I should there's someone else sent me a um this this Actually, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. The name is Alex, but they sent me something about a uh they have like a a business that they want me to do a um Oh, I can show you guys a sneak peek of I'll show you guys some quick sneak peeks of stuff I've been working on and then I'm gonna, then I'm going to finish this up. But I don't know if there's anything uh so here's a sneak peek. I'll show you the sketch, not the finish. This is a sneak peek of like a children's book thing, like a sample. So I just drew this and colored it in about this uh, cute little guy and his two dogs and all the animals they see. I'll go out of it. I'll go out of it quick because, you know, this is another one that I'm that I'm working on. I'm gonna do a a coloring book page uh, featuring this cute uh, pit bull. Here's another. Um, commission of this cute cat uh, where's the picture of the actual cat that's the actual cat and this was actually oh actually two cats but I think they're in the same I think I did them on the same uh, Change the color of the background here. And this is the other cat. Um, wait, how do I how do I get out of this? Why is this all messed up like this? Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Are these all the layers. There we go. There we go. So yeah, this is the other cat. It looks so weird right now. I don't know why it looks so funny. Something must be up with the layers. I don't know. The layers are looking really weird to me. But anyway. What's the background you use? Hobby cats? The cat's name is Teddy. Hobby cats. Um, let me see. Let me look that up. Instagram sleuths over here. Hobby. Wait, is this it? 
Oh, dang. Oh, dang. That's nuts. All right, so I guess I know who I'm who I'm tagging. 418k. That's crazy. Oh my god, I might have to sketch this guy too. Oh, the yellowish color. Um shout out to shout out to Hobby Cats. Uh I always do I always do this because white is just it's way too bright, but then also since I like to work I just like to control my 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 whites. So I, I like that, you know, if I want to make something white, the background isn't already white. So like when I did my when I used to work on um in my sketchbooks, I would always get like the brown sketchbooks. Yeah, you're right. It's real. It's real. It's crazy. I thought it was uh I thought that was definitely a uh, somebody playing jokes. But it was just nature doing what it does, I guess, which is cool. I like it. I like learning about new creatures. Okay, okay, where are we? Let me, let me, let me finish this off. Let me finish this guy off a little bit. Go back to this color. Give his ears a little bit, since they're not so bright. Give him a little bit of shadow underneath his head kind of make his head pop not pop in a weird way just pop out from the background just give him a little bit of shadows on these and we'll just you know what for the background we'll just uh, we'll just make oops it's a little oh maybe that's not bad uh, cool thing about doing it dark, I should probably do that on a, another layer so I can erase if I need. But the nice thing about doing this color is it'll make his um, it'll make his giraffe arms kind of pop. And then we'll just um, midtones. Yes, Inktober, forty percent gray. Yeah, gray is gray is not bad. Gray is not bad. I just um, I don't know what it is about the beige. Now it's like a thing because all my Instagram is all of the beige color, so I just kind of stick with it. I don't know. It's just it's just uh, I, I was gonna use a more brown color. Like, next time I do a live video, I'll have to, uh, I'll get out my other, my older sketchbook, but it's essentially like, this is the sketchbook that I used to, it's super dark in here, right? I probably can't even see what I'm, so this is like the old sketchbook that I did all my original, like, sketching and stuff. These are terrible, but, so it's just like a regular brown in the shadow from my microphone. But that's my original sketchbook. I don't know where I don't know where my old one is that's like full of drawings. I'll have to find that one and then we can just like flip through it. If you think that'll be cool. That'll be kind of fun to just look through my old drawings. Um But yeah, okay, so, oh, what is that? So Teddy and Hobby, Hobby Cats. Okay, I'll have to remember that so I can, so I can definitely tag them. That's pretty cool. So let me give them some, oops, just a little big. Give them some depth here. Teddy, 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 looking like a rascal. OK, 
Okay, let me just do a little darkness there. A little darkness between the eyes. Right now I'm just looking at the values and seeing like where where it's darker and where it's not. His nose goes a little down a little bit more. Let me just uh I'll just mix those mix, merge those layers. So his no his nose comes down a little bit, so I'll just use smudge and just bring his nose down a little bit. I like using smudge. Okay, cool. His meow sounds like a honk. Something interesting. Hmm. What's interesting? Let's see. Well. Oh, there is something very interesting, but I don't know if I can say it right now because someone might post it somewhere else so I can't say that but what else is interesting in my life right now um, I had chocolate I don't know if you guys ever seen this this brand but that's pretty good what else is interesting? I have my water here. I like to drink out of a mason jar. Uh, what else? Cookie butter. Oh, like, uh, oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, Biscoff is my world. I love Biscoff. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> so, yeah, Biscoff, I had to stop buying because what I would do is I would buy those little rice crispy rice, those like rice cylinders. They're like kind of like rice cakes, but they're like cylinders. And I would buy the Biscoff and I would eat them with rice, rice uh, cylinders. And uh, <laughs> I had to stop because they're too good. They're way too good. Let's see if I have anything anything else interesting. All right, so I think that's it for this guy. But I'll show you some more interesting. I can show you a couple more things here. A couple more uh, secret things. I don't really think. Not that many people are going to be watching this, so that's okay. My my live videos don't get that much. Um, also, this is the other live, the other one that I just recently finished. Uh, let's see what else what else what else do we have here so I've been working a lot on this animation I've been working I probably put in probably like um, I don't I mean I, even on this on this some um, on this canvas alone, canvas, canvas information. So this canvas alone, I did 31 hours for this animation. And like literally just like coloring in every single thing. Wait, where's, where's the rest of the, uh... so this was the first, this was the first part of the animation. I'll play a little bit of it. I think this, I think this, uh, this canvas was a little more, a little longer. So this is basically a little animation that I, that I did for my buddy who, uh, who is like a little kids like variety show that he does. It's really cute. And he wanted me to do an animation for it. So, so this is basically about like pancakes and only cartoons like pancakes. It's really cute. I can't wait to post about it. Um, what's up, Paul? How do I do the eyes? You mean like these eyes or the other eyes? I can show you. I can show you how I normally do eyes. So I'll do a really quick. I'll do a really quick. Um, 
thing here with eyes. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let me. How do I want to do this? So if I'm going to make eyes, eyes in general. Okay, so. So if I'm doing a character, first the first thing I do is I try to do I try to do this plane so I can make the eyes like uh, even. So. So that's like the that's like the first thing that's like kind of difficult for me sometimes is really making the making sure the eyes are are even. And then when I do them, I sort of I sort of make circles, but then I sort of just round out the bottom like that. So that's sort of how I do them. And then I usually just do a thick that one that's terrible. I do the thick bit here. Um, even though actually I've been trying to practice uh, doing them more in the direction of the in the direction of the eye. So instead of having since that's actually more more realistic. But let me clean this up so I can actually show you what you what I think you want to see. So once I have that circular eye shape, then you know that's like the that's like the hard work is pretty much just getting the getting that eye shape right. Uh, I'll do the nose here. I just got to give it a little, a little nose, um, just to kind of make myself feel better about noses. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right, so once I have those, once I have the general eye shape, um, I don't even worry about connecting it like, like too much. But you just want that, that, that eye shape. So uh, one way you can do it is you can just take like a circle. I'll do it on the layer underneath, just be, just so I can move it around. So it's a little bit too big. It's a little bit too small. Okay, so let me make it a little bit lighter, a little bigger. So the circle's pretty much the. First thing I do, his eyes are not. Um, oh well, that's okay. Let me let me move let me move quicker because I'm I'm slow. So then I just do another dot in the middle, black. But you want it directly in the middle, like so. And then another thing I usually do is I take. I usually color in the eye like I don't keep it the same color like the same white color as the background I always make it a little bit of a, a shade and that just makes it better when I do add white to it <clears throat> so basically so now I just have this I have these eyes like this uh, what do I do next and then I take this up to 30 percent and I make like a shadow, so like it's almost like the shadow is like underneath the eyelid. Let me do that a little bit better. So I just make a shadow like that. Um, let me do that again, that one looked terrible.
and then I just take white and I save it the, the same 30% even though this might be a little bit brighter actually that's okay and I always call it like a jelly bean but I do like a white thing right there and then I'll take another brush or the same brush but as long as you have the the opacity all the way up sorry I haven't been reading the um all right Rachel th thanks so much for watching I appreciate it I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these so I'm glad that you can catch this one uh it's really fun I, I, I love talking to you guys this is really really cool to kind of catch up with the people that uh you know my folks on Instagram who I really like to keep up with and then I usually just make like a like a random you know it could be that could really be anything it could be anywhere it could be like a dot um, it doesn't even have to be on the you know like on the black area but usually usually it is it just looks better because you kind of want them to be in the same spot and sort of the same shape if they're coming from the same light so you can sort of do that Lately, I've just been doing like a line across. Something like that. Or if you want to do really fancy, if you want to get really fancy with it, you can do something like this. And then you can erase like little lines through it. And they can be kind of random. And then you can take your eraser. Oh man, the motivation to finish the animations is, I, you know, that's one thing that I really don't lack when it comes to the animations because once I start, I'm like locked in. And I just do some shading. Yeah, once I once I start an animation, I'm locked in. Like, I have to finish it. And that's the thing, but it sort of takes over my life. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I, how I do the eyes. Um, sometimes I also, I also just take the airbrush and not too hard, but I'll just, I'll just kind of airbrush the bottom, you know, because it's like a sphere. So I'll just kind of airbrush the bottom a little bit, maybe even the top. Something like that. So that's pretty much how I do um, do the eyes. I don't know what an what animal this is. Uh, what does it look like to me? Um, let's switch it up. I've been doing some fun. Uh, I feel like there's like some like little like I don't know if it's a mosquito, but something keeps landing on me. It's really annoying. Trying to focus here. I've been doing some. Uh, let's see here. If we want to. Oh, I don't remember how to do the nose again. How do I do the nose? That's not the right nose. I can't remember the nose. I've been doing some llama noses, but I just I just blanked on how I do their noses, so it's not going to be a llama. A lemur. Oh, I wish I remembered um, what their... I don't think I know what their faces look like anymore. Uh, they kind of they kind of have faces like horse. So I can probably just I can probably sort of just draw a horse. That might but I think they have like black like nose and mouth areas and then they're just like gray. 
around a little no, let's do let me let me lower the opacity on my eraser and do a tongue oh, let me let me let's lower the opacity there let me lower our Let me the monkeys. I I remember what they look like, but I I don't think I know enough. I don't think I remember enough to really like. I can't remember if their ears come up. I feel like they. I don't know. Let me look up a picture of a lemur real quick on Instagram. Lemur. Oh, that's right. So they have. Okay, so I have this picture of this lemur here. Okay, so first thing I notice is the nose comes out a little bit more. So we're just going to erase into that a little bit. Uh, this is all dark here. I liked Madagascar. I might have to watch that again. I want to watch Turbo again because I love drawing snails. So that's dark. Uh, let's see. So they have nice round heads that I can do. Okay, that ear is way too big. Come on, undo, undo, undo. Okay. Oh, first of all, they have their head is a little more square. And they have a little bit of a forehead. So something like this. They're very hairy ears. So let me draw some hair coming off here. But I did make his face like kind of turning a little bit, so I have to kind of stick to that, that angle. Okay, so now let me just color in. I love drawing snails. So there's also dark here. So they're dark there. They have dark areas here. And it looks like inside their ears a little bit gray too. And then, actually, let's have some, let's do some white here, too, just because, just because we can. Let's see how this looks. Might look bad, but I don't usually add white just, like, willy-nilly like this, but, oh well. It's nice to experiment. Wait, let me use a different... Actually, no, this is fine. Let 
into a little bit of gray. A little bit of gray here. And let me color this in. This is all a little bit darker. Dark nose. I don't want to color it in that dark, but and they have really big yellow eyes. And this is all much darker. So let me make that all darker. And you know what we're going to do? I know you guys are going to... Wait, let me take a good look at his eyes here. So they're big yellow eyes. So... I hope those cats behave outside because I can hear them not behaving. That's probably painful, right? Go through all that and then just like erase. Uh, make sure these are. Oh, let me just fix this. to make them equal. They still don't feel that equal, but I think they're I think they're good enough. Um, they're a little bit off kilter, but not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my my little wash add my little wash here and then we're going to get a nice orange color cuz their eyes are like a nice big orange color so and I'm going to do it behind this layer Oh, yeah, no, that's good. That's not bad. Okay, so... Okay, so we have that. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to make it black. Then I'm going to shrink this. really small because I think they had really small pupils all right and I'm going to alpha lock this I'm going to take a darker yellow color and with sketch master 2 and I'm just going to do oops, I'm just going to just kind of do some loose shading around the outside And then I'm going to take this brush, make it really big, and do something like that. All right, now I'm going to go back to the that original yellow color. I'm going to go lighter, and I'm just going to use the airbrush. And I'm just going to airbrush Looks a bit. That looks a bit funny. So I think I'm going to. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. Maybe we want some subtle. I'm gonna select this. Maybe we want some subtle. Um, some subtle shapes. So I'm gonna take. Procreate has these vintage, these vintage brushes that I like to use. I'm gonna use Galaxias. So I'm gonna use Galaxias. 
and I'm going to I'm going to do this and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to change it to I don't know which one yet I don't know which one is going to look nice Ooh, I, like, I kind of like soft light I think that looks good let me make sure I don't want to change the hue saturation yeah that looks cool okay so let me see if I can merge these okay nice and just for fun we're going to add a little bit of flavor to this eye we're going to take a little bit of orange and we are going to uh, what do I want to do with this here so we'll do another layer I'm going to select this again I'll do it on the layer above and I'll probably use I just want to add a little bit of a change in color to it maybe even like we'll go crazy and add like a, a color that wouldn't normally like even be there so we'll add a little bit of that too now I'm going to play around with these again and see if there's anything nice I kind of like these. That looks kind of interesting. So we'll go with that. Let me see if hopefully it merges down fine. Good, it does. Okay, so the only other thing I wanted to do was I just wanted to add a little bit of. I'm gonna select again. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the layer above, and I'm gonna do add. I wonder if there's anyone still watching. Oh yeah, there are. Get like focused. Once I just like, once I'm kind of just in a zone, I sort of get like a little bit too focused. So I'm going to do add and I'm going to I just want to get a little bit of that light on one side of it. And I'm just going to merge everything. Okay, so now we just have an eye. We can make smaller. Alright, and I'm going to go behind that. And I'm going to make this white. And we already have our wash, so even though I'm making it white, it's not going to be super, super, super white. Actually, it might even be better to make it, like, dark. Like, if we changed all the red to, to black. Actually, I'm not going to try to figure out how to do that just yet. We'll stick with this. We'll stick with this for now. So now that we did all that work with the one eye, I'm just going to... that but then you can also see how the eyes are not the same exact size because ideally they should they should sort of match like you kind of want them to you kind of want them to match a little bit I think I might need to make them a little smaller so if I'm going to make them a little smaller, then I'm going to delete one. Uh, why do I feel like I might need to... Oh, no, no, this is okay. This is fine. Duplicate. Do that there. And you always have to make them like a little, a little cross-eyed. And if I was doing this normally, I think I would I think I would probably do something like that.
because he's looking like he's looking a little bit no we'll just keep him keep it simple so I can go to probably just go to bed after this to be honest with you or finish editing one of the another video that I'm working on so anyway let me go back under here and make these finish that out okay so let me alpha lock this I'm gonna do my little airbrush shading And this is just simple simple shading because like you know they're just kind of spheres so I just do a shade I just do some shading as though it's a as though it's just a sphere. I don't know why I keep wanting to say sphere. I don't know what a sphere is. And I'll go to 30% for the shadow. Like I always do. Um, maybe that's too light. Do we need darker? Yeah, darker looks a little bit better. Erase that. And then we'll do some jelly beans. So I want to make sure that I do them. I always want them to like bleed a little bit into the black. It's a bit high, but Otherwise, you you might not see it. Let me see. I don't think I need to double it up. Yeah, I can make it a little bit lighter. And then, since the light is coming from... The light would be coming from this direction, so... One of my other airbrush, eye, eye glare texture. Let's see how that looks on this. It's just, it's a kind of a textured. I use it a lot. I just added it to my, my faves brush, but. And there you go. That's kind of like your your uh, lemur type character. I don't know how I don't know how to color map this so I can just change the red to black. There's got to be a way to do that, but I don't know actually. Um, what if I just take all the saturation out? I guess that works, but it takes. Oh, I know what I can do. I can, first of all, let me erase the, oh, did I already, no, that's okay, I'll just, I'll just use my trusty schmear tool to get rid of the eyes in the middle, I'll just, actually, no, I think it's fine, I'll just take a little bit of the red out. So there you go. So I'll just um, I really actually really like this little lemur guy. It's kind of fun. I'll make his I'll make his teethies like a little. Yeah, I kind of, I, I like drawing, I like lemurs. I might have to draw some lemurs. Maybe I'll animate them a little bit. Oh, these are some old ugly sketches that I worked on. Well, I appreciate you guys checking out the live stream.
It was this one was supposed to be this one was supposed to be quick, but apparently it is not. And that tends to happen. But I have to work on some I'll probably start tomorrow. I have to work on some uh this coloring book for a pit bull coloring book. And this pit bull is really, really cute. So I'm gonna do the whole theme, like the twelve months, the different themes. Um, Halloween, Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day, fall, fall, summer, 4th of July. So it's going to be really fun to, uh, to do this, uh, coloring book. I still can't believe these arms are real. Oh, thanks, Luana. I appreciate you stopping by and checking me out. There'll be a lot more. Um, I don't know if you came from Instagram, but I have a lot of work there too. Uh, but I appreciate you watching the watching the stream. This must be Lemur friend. That's kind of how I draw Horus. Hor Horus. Actually, the next actually the video that I'm working on now I can't even post until I post that uh, that animation. There he is. There's Lemur friend. Um, yeah, I was also working on this guy. So this is like my new, one of my new um, intros that you'll see soon. But I added like sound and stuff to it. And actually, this is, he's actually seeing that little firefly thing move around. But these are just like really fun to make. But yeah, this it's really no fun without the uh without the sound. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can show you guys before I head out. There's another project. My book project is actually coming out. Um I worked on a cute little children's book uh with this guy, this little doxy who actually has diabetes. He's really cute. It was a fun. It was really fun to work on this project. Um, here he is driving his little car. Turn the and you know drive in his little plane on the train. His little boat. So yeah, lots of fun stuff coming out. It's been a good uh it's been a good year art wise at least. And this is the original these are the original sketches. Let's see. But yeah, I think that's, um, oh, this is also, this is my, I'm making a pancake recipe book. I love pancakes. As you can see, the new animation is all about pancakes, but this is Horace again, holding some syrup. So this will be out on Blurb. I'm probably not going to try to like really sell a lot of them, but um, let me know if you're interested. I'll probably post something about it, but it's just, it's a real, it's how I make pancakes. It's like my pancake recipe, only it's like through Horace. Um, but yeah, it's just like, you know, it's just him making pancakes and the recipe and all that stuff. So, all right. So we'll, we'll end there. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, feel free to, to like and 
follow and follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff. There's going to be a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot more of uh, live streams. So I really appreciate you guys, uh, Delfina. I appreciate you coming through as always. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great night.